Да, не We have to do this. We're here. We have to do this. It's official. It's probably one of the stupidest things <laughs> I've ever had to talk about my entire life. Honestly, if you're offended by what we're about to say, then just really all I gotta say is unsubscribe to the channel. First, yeah. let's talk about this, okay? Yeah. So, <laughs> first off, we tried to understand what was happening. We're trying, we're still trying to understand. I, I actually understand. Yeah. I understand the whole situation. Yeah. I don't think the fans do. I don't think the fans understand what's going on here. And so, I think you're right. Let's let's yeah. talk about this. Let's talk about this. So, me and Thomas reacts to NCT 127 AO hey, uh, dance okay. performance video. Good, good <laughs> song. Dude, good song. performance. Solid, 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 solid as heck. But, anyways, I brought up a story that I thought I heard, right? Mm -hmm. This story. Was I, it was only 15 seconds of our reaction. Yeah, and I didn't claim it as truth. I was just like, hey, I thought I heard about this story about NCT 127 pretending to be BTS to get some free drinks, which I was I wasn't correct about the whole thing. They weren't pretending. You kind of to just BTS. said it open. Yeah, I, like, I didn't say this fact. I said it's something like I heard as a joke, kind of like right. Um, we thought you said I'm, I'm remembering. You were all like, oh, it would be funny if that situation. Right, happened. right. So what the story ended up actually being was they were mistaken as BTS by some servers yeah. um, and they got free drinks for it. Yeah, we actually have the article right here. Yeah, and so what, what was funny was, I thought that was a funny story. I was like, damn, dude, that was really funny because celebrities get mistaken as other celebrities all the time and there's always funny stories about it, which SCT-127 was the one telling the story, yeah, yeah, thinking well, it was yeah. gonna be funny, sure, thinking it was gonna be funny, and then, um, yeah, and then this ended up being a huge thing. So yeah, we got the article right here. Yeah, actually, in fact, let's make this a little bit better for you. Yeah. So, NCT 127 members briefly mentioned BTS during their live, recent live, okay? Yeah. While sharing stories from their time in Colombia. However, the comments did not go down well with many ARMY fans. So shame on you ARMY fans. Yeah. Shame on you, because this thing is ridiculous and stupid. And it starts with the ARMY fans here. So, through, though other fans came to NCT 127's rescue during the course of the conversation, Jung Woo revealed that whenever they went somewhere, to eat, they were recognized as another group. This is wild. We're gonna talk <clears throat> yeah. About Tail asked if it was BTS, and Jung Woo tried avoiding admitting the name when Mark and Johnny compelled him to continue his story. Mark added that Yuta admitted that they were from BTS. He said, No, but I just thought it was like cute and funny how he went to drink, uh, as we went to drink tequilas, and one of the servers misrecognized us and they gave us more drinks as service. Tang Young added, in that case, you should thank one of that one group. Mark continued, well, it wasn't just that, but the servers were just very friendly yeah. with us in general and had good service. Now, this is funny because- so they basically just said it as a funny story. They basically said exactly what I said. And this whole narrative that the, the NCT 127 fans came up with is that they're being racist. Yeah, because and, it's another Asian group. And misrecognizing group. them as yeah. another Asian group yeah. um, is completely false. See, that's the three things that I wanted to bring up, actually. Yeah, so NCT 127 themselves said that they had good service yeah. and that the servers are being very friendly. And it has so nothing really, to do with race. Really, the only problem here is army fans and NCT fans yeah. going at each other. This just makes and sense. we're we're stuck in the crossfire. We're in the crossfire <laughs> of two fan bases just because we brought up a story. Okay, Which I still think it's a funny story. Okay, but it, it, it is a funny story. story. This story is funny, and it should have been funny. That's yeah. why NCT One Two Seven was telling the story because yeah. they also thought it was funny. Yeah. And then now we have to deal with all this backlash of both fan bases over something so stupid. <laughs> And petty. And the only reason why we're bringing this up is because how petty the comment section was. Yeah. And I'm sick of it, dude. So they basically, like, their their stories did not correlate with this. Yeah. So, so if you read our comments, which is just nuts, mind blowing, okay? <laughs> and just go check out that video if you haven't seen that. Just read the comment section. It's crazy. It might hurt your brain how ridiculous it is. So many yeah. people come up with their own narrative yeah. of what actually happened when they don't even listen to the article and they don't, or they haven't even seen the interview. They're just making up their own story. Which I've seen both, actually. And you know what's funny? I, I When I first told the story, I didn't see anything. And my scenario that I came up with, my brain, my well, normal brain, much. I have a normal brain, <laughs> was basically what happened. 
and, and it was funny. They thought it was funny, and yeah. I thought it was funny. The only people who didn't think it was funny was the Army fans, and now the NCT 127 fans are trying to defend them by saying it's racist, and yeah. it's just ridiculous, because they tried to like basically make us apologize for even bringing up the story, yeah. and me and Thomas didn't know the background with this story. Yeah. We were just telling that story because we heard about it. I had no idea about any of this backlash. But even so, even though, yeah, even if I did. talk about it that much. It was like 15 yeah. seconds of the actual reaction. Yeah, and even if I did, it was because I thought it was a funny story. And I have the right to have that opinion, no matter what. So you guys can't tell me shit. I, if I think that's funny, I can tell you that's funny. And same thing with NCT127. If they thought it was funny, it was funny, okay? It was their story. They never said anything about it being racist. And now the, the only reason why they're even being like quiet about it now is because of the random backlash from the army fans. See, that's the, yeah, that's the three things I want to talk about. First one was the fact that people are calling us out saying that we're using it for clickbait or like uh, yeah. misinformation or whatever, which it was a reaction video, it wasn't a media video. And first of all, it wasn't misinformation. I might have mis like said some of the details, but the story itself actually happened. This was yeah. a real story based on true true events here. So that beef is squashed right there. <laughs> Secondly, yeah. people were saying it's racist, like it's a racist thing, like the, the fact that they're getting accused the fact that they're getting mistaken as another Asian group yeah. or a Korean group. First of all, that's just ridiculous. Okay, if anyone mistakens anyone of any race, that doesn't fall under any category of racism at all, anywhere, okay? And the Wonder fact- what racism is? The grandpa, our Mexican grandfather, yeah. protecting our Italian grandmother in California in, in a van. In 1950 riots. Is that's that? racism. Yeah, and people don't understand that. Like, here's the thing. Nobody in their right mind is gonna be racist to a group and then give them free drinks, first of all. So just yeah. just use your brain, there, okay? Yeah. And they're not being like accidentally racist. Yeah. Dude, if anything, like somebody could have been like, hey, that table you're serving's BTS. And they might not know who BTS is, even yeah. if I said, hey, you're serving that group that looks like One Direction. Yeah. And the, the, if the person never knew what One Direction looked like, how would they know? You know what I mean? So, like, there's no way they could be racist. This is, it's mind blowing that people were actually thought that. So, yeah. that squash, yeah, okay? And the third thing was the fact that we're gonna react to whatever we want to, anyways. Like, I like the group, I like the sound, I don't have to know all their names. Yeah. Like, that's the whole point of reacting because we're learning these groups as we're going. Yeah. It is what it is. It's like our journey with the group and the music that we're learning. We're gonna continue to react to NCT 127 and any yeah. other group. And now, I don't care what the comment section says, we, we're gonna tell any story you wanna tell and yeah. we, we can discuss it. And then you guys can be civil and comment back and tell us what's, what the story really was, give us some facts, yeah, and we take yeah, everything I mean, with a grain of salt. Yeah. Same thing when I tell stuff, I always tell you guys to take it with a grain of salt, yeah. usually. In this well, case, I guess I don't say that. Care. You guys could be pissed off. Dude. Well, that's the care. thing. I'm allowed to talk about this. I'm allowed to think this is funny. You could be pissed. You could be pissed. NCT 127 thought it was funny, and they're allowed to think it's funny. Yeah. So, anyways, this thing is so stupid, and I, it's funny, like, me trying to explain this to friends and family, like, how stupid this is, and it's just, Enough, okay? <laughs> enough is enough. I don't want to hear it anymore. I don't want to see it. I'm right, you're wrong. In fact, <laughs> I'm, I'm so right that we're not even turning the comments on. You're not going to be able to comment back on this video. How about that? No, we'll probably. We'll, we'll see. I'll probably leave it off. And <laughs> feel free to unsubscribe if you disagree with everything I say because you're probably one of those people that we wouldn't want you to subscribe to our channel anyways. So well, that's the thing. Like, some people just, they want to be right no matter what. It doesn't matter yeah. if they're wrong or what. It doesn't matter if they see, it doesn't matter if they see this interview or see somebody's other opinion on it. And I guess lastly, um, so that, that's all to the NCT 127 fans. Now, I'm going to end this with the ARMY fans. So ARMY fans, shame on you. Shame on you. This whole thing is ridiculous. 100% BTS doesn't give a <laughs> about this. They don't give a yeah. BTS probably thinks it's funny. If you're true fans of BTS, you would know they would think this is funny. Yeah. But the fact that you guys are like foaming out of the mouth over the story is just ridiculous, dude. Completely ridiculous. And now you're ruining the fun for everybody. You're ruining the fun for BTS. You're ruining the fun for NCT 127. You're making both your groups look bad. It's just ridiculous, man. Honestly, I'm on the same tip, token of both groups. Yeah. Um, I don't give up. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, that's all we're going to say. So with that, Nani Brothers, out. Yeah.